Hey everyone, I'm Fred Ranger and I hope you're doing good. Today I am super excited because I'm testing for the first time my new Fujifilm X-H1. So the footage you're seeing right now is basically the Eterna film simulation dialed into my Fujifilm X-H1 and I'm already in love with the rendering of this image with the blurriness of the background i used my 16 millimeter 1.4 dialed into 1.4 i'm using 24p to get that cinema look i'm also dialed into 48 uh, as a shutter speed and that is something that's really cool because on the other fujifilm cameras you would need to you know go to 50 uh, but now you can dial in a very precise shutter speed so i'm, a, I'm at shutter speed 48 and i'm at iso 200 with two uh, diffused light each side of the camera i really really like this camera it's it feels at home because i am a fujifilm shooter and all the menus all the dials i know where they are so if you are a fujifilm still shooter this is a video camera that you might be interested in if you are interested in shooting video. And now it has this face tracking. So look, look at this face tracking going on right now. Oh, there you go. And I know you can work with the responsiveness. I think I can get this autofocus to work even better. No, it is not, you know, the Sony face tracking or eye tracking, uh, nor it is the dual pixel from Canon. But again, if you are a Fujifilm shooter and you have a lot of lenses like me, this is a serious contender if you are in the video game. So you can expect me to use that camera a lot on this channel. I am going to Miami in a couple uh, days. I'm actually going to Vancouver tomorrow, but I'm not going to bring that camera because it's so new and I don't want to uh, try it on a, on a, on a sun such a short notice. I want to get better at using it. But I am going to Miami in a week from now, and trust me, I will bring that camera and I will make some cinematic shots for you guys. And I intend to use that camera for all my video needs, even vlogging. I know there's no flippy screen, but you know what? Uh, when you have a flippy screen, you actually tend to look at the video or at the screen versus looking at the lens. So I don't really care. And I am going to be relying on this autofocus. I think it's quite good. That was one thing that I was a bit afraid of. It was to not be able to get that responsiveness that Sony that was giving me. But man, I do, do I not actually, uh, I, I don't miss Sony at all. I think this is my safe space, the Fujifilm ecosystem. Love the lenses, love the body, love the quality. And if you look at this, this is straight out of camera, guys. This is no, absolutely no color rendering, color editing, sorry, uh, in Final Cut. Uh, this is just, you know, the card putting in small edit and up on YouTube. If you have any questions about the Fujifilm ecosystem or even the Fujifilm X-H1, if you have any comments or tips for me as I'm learning how this new camera or actually this new video camera works, please put them down below. This is why this community is actually growing is the interactions that you guys are putting in and I'm trying to help, but I'm learning a lot through that process. And I love, love, love this process. Thank you so much. Remember to enjoy life, to be happy and enjoy your gear.